Hey guys, this is Amit Kachilia. Today's topic is pretty much technical and interesting, but muted returns due to post merger effect of principal and Sundaram mutual fund schemes due to swap accounting being done and removal of old acquisition data or uh, cost data relating to cost and date. So the date of merger accounting purpose being 31st December 2021. Okay. Now, original cost data and the data acquisitions of old schemes, whether it be MA, uh, Sundaram or principal are eliminated, deleted and swapped with the, with the data as on 31st December 2021 as the new starting point. Okay. Logically speaking, merger has no impact on valuation per se, but it will have an impact on your overall portfolio's rate of returns as a weighted average. How it will be? Let me show you through an example. So, this is the data A as an illustration, wherein the data is just one day before the swap effect. I am investing in four schemes, Sundaram Equity Scheme, HDFC Midcap, ICICI Banking Financial and Kotak Flexica. These are just for example, these are not my advice or anything. I am more interested in explaining the logic of or the issues being faced with the muted effect of the merger. So the, there is this scheme called as Sundaram Equity and there are many other schemes but I am showing this example through this scheme only. I had purchased uh, in this scheme 30, 30th December 2019, 2 lakh is the cost. In the total portfolio 2 lakh means the total weightage of cost weightage is 20%. These were the units I had got considering the date of investment based on NAV. This is 30th December 2021 NAV just one day before the merger effect. Okay, so logically my valuation is units into NAV this much. My period of investment is this to this, this many days. So my CAGR using the rate formula, this being a technical I already mentioned, being 25.12% per annum. Okay, now there are other schemes. Obviously, I'm investing at different, different dates, so cost and everything. So my 10 lakh has become 18 lakhs based on various periods so my but obviously each and every period intensely have kept as more than a year so obviously this is a total CAGR effect okay so my 10 lakh becoming 18 lakhs at a CAGR of 15.73 percent per annum okay now what happens after this merger effect now what they did Sundaram equity fund was renamed as Sundaram multicap with obviously mergers of some one of the old scheme of principal and all that stuff. Now 31st December as a starting point, my cost, this effect change will be there because of 30th December being Thursday working for markets and this is 31st December when that change effect had happened. Okay, so this my revised cost effect is now 3,16,147. These were my revised units. These were my uh, revised NAV. Okay. Obviously, it's a big difference, but my valuation is marginal rise, obviously, because of that one day effect of NAV, nothing else. Now, one day means I cannot calculate CAGR now. My system, my software, whatever you are using, because the data gets grabbed from uh, KFintech and CAMS and all that. Okay, so obviously, it will calculate a absolute return only because your starting point is now 31st December. They have deleted this data. Keep this thing in mind. So absolute mean what? Means what? New figure minus old figure upon old figure. P1 minus P upon PO. So this is my rate of return now. Obviously, but in total WACC, how the effect is. Obviously, that one day effect will affect on other valuations also. But it's not, it's very marginal. But in totality, my returns dropped from 15.73 in just one day. Logically, market has improved. But my returns have dropped. Weight into return in plus weight into return plus weight into return plus weight into return as it is. Okay, obviously I can do some tweaking, but no software does that. Keep that in mind. This is what every software is doing. Okay, this is how I calculate my CAGR. It's very simple. Weight into return, weight into return. That's it. But now it is this much. Now this drop will have a very wrong psychological impact on your client's understanding. Oh, what happened? This sudden drop. Let's say. You are you had done review on let's say 25th December with your client and now on 25th Jan you are doing another review let's after one month only for some reason or the other or it's a periodical review okay the sudden drop 
is not because of market dropping maybe market may have improved like i am making this video on 19th february 2022 market may be better off but still they the drop may be because of this effect base effect the base effect itself has changed actually speaking my base capital has improved from 10 lakhs to 11 lakh but it's very hard or difficult to explain to a client unless you show this to video to your clients okay so how do we rectify as a fintech firm okay for me i have all the old data of my client so obviously what happened is sundara multi cap scheme name is new but i know my original cost was 30 december date 2 lakhs but my NAV, I'll consider the new ones, obviously. This is, these are the new one, new NAVs, okay? So, 20, this much, this much, but cost is this much. So, NAV is not changing. So, technically speaking, under our rectified regime, my CHR is almost the same. That little bit gap is there because of one day of NAV, nothing else. So, it's back to originality. So, this comparison and this comparison, so A with C is logical. But software everywhere, because the data is being grabbed from K Fintech and such other entities, wherein the old data has been swapped. So overall, I'm not so sure how much logical WACC is coming. Okay. Unless you tweak with this thing. Okay. So this is where the returns are getting muted because of the merger effect. Okay. So this things being technical in a very... Uh, simplistic way you can explain because I'm not a person who explain the thing simplistically uh, so but maybe you can do a more simplistic uh, understanding of this on a uh, pen and paper and try to explain it that it's nothing your base capital has improved so basically what is happening is yeah where yeah the effect of muted returns is nullified with the rise in base capital actually okay but this is as i mentioned difficult to explain you can try it out keep one thing in mind CHR is used for periods more than a year and absolutes for periods less than a year so you can't help it it will automatically do that so all key fintech apps now what are they are they are showing uh, sundara multi cap cost well, maybe few days of effect and they are showing obviously they are showing the absolute return so which is uh, not the correct way of showing, but that's how it is. The things have been swapped. That's that's why it's happening around. Okay. So you can also refer to my one more uh, video called as um, muted performance due to active management, because this is very similar to what happens is that whenever you book profits so from scheme A to scheme B and your scheme B becomes your base capital. So again, your return suddenly drops because your starting point is again freshly started. Okay. So that's what it is. Hope you understood it. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Thank you so much.